Congrats, Sean. That was a very impressive win by, by you. How'd you feel about it? I felt good, man. I, I needed that, you know, coming off my last one, I, I needed to do something impressive for myself. Yeah, right. Did you put that sort of pressure on yourself that you needed to do, or was it you, just you, something you realized after the fact? You know, I'm so afraid. I mean, I train, I train one of the, I'm one of the hardest training guys in UFC, and I've been to all the best camps, and I'll tell you that from yeah. experience. And in the gym, I'm, I'm phenomenal. I'm, there's not one guy that can beat me every gym I go to. But when I fight, I'm so afraid of losing. I'm so afraid of like, I'm so afraid of failure. It's a, it's a ceiling that I put over myself. And then <clears throat> after my last fight, getting clipped like that, knowing I got clipped because I was so afraid to, to fight, because that's all it was. He clipped me because I was afraid to fight. Going into this fight, I just said, I don't even care if I get knocked out. Like, I'm coming here to fight and prove how good I am. He kind of protested the stoppage a little, uh, but it, it seems hard to argue with. You, you know what? I, I will say one thing. He, I hit him. He kept coming to you. I hit him. But I will tell you right now, the look in his eyes, uh, it would have just, I would have just kept hitting him. If he would have got up, I would have hit him again. He would have fell down and I hit him again. So if it wasn't early stoppage, it would have been stopped just a few seconds later. <laughs> um, you talk about you know, being scared and everything or afraid to fight and everything you just spoke about. How do you overcome that? You know, it's been hard, man. Like I've been training since I was 14 years old. You know, I never, I never started, I never started training to be a fighter. I got kind of pushed into that. I was just, you know, I was just a punk kid who, who was angry, and then I got pushed into fighting. And then when I fight, I, I, I put so many obstacles in front of myself, being afraid of losing, that I, it holds me back. And like overcoming it, I'm learning how to overcome it. You know, this fight going in there was me trying to overcome that barrier. And what you've seen, it wasn't even me at my best. I, I, this bear, the wall is still there. I'm just trying to break it through. Very interesting. And this is the final fight on your UFC contract. Yes, that yes correct? sir. So uh, what's the expectations from here? You know what? I, I, like I said, I've been training for so long. I love being a UFC fighter. I will fight somebody who's ranked. I will fight somebody who's not ranked, a newcomer. I don't care. As long as I get to keep doing what I'm doing, I'll fight anybody. I, I just love fighting. Is this the only place you want to be? Like now that you are a free agent, do you expect you know a few months to pass so like the exclusive negotiation period is open? Are you wanting to explore your options, or is this the only place? You, you know, be? I love being a UFC fighter. A lot of the times, like you know, I mean, other organizations pay well too, but for me, it's like my dream growing up was to be a UFC fighter. So for me, I'm 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 living my dream in the UFC. We've heard that from other fighter. What other fighter died on the card that it was the last fight on his contract? Was there an offer made to you beforehand? Were you looking to make a statement to maybe get more money? Yeah, mostly a statement. You know, mostly it's like when you have that last fight, you have to do something because if not, there's there's so many guys that want to be UFC fighters that you're you know you, you have to earn your keep in this in the sport, and and that's all I was trying to do is earn my keep. You had mentioned it after the fight, but what was it like? You know, fighting here in Canada, getting that opportunity. Oh, you know, I mean, I've fought all over the world, but, but I, I love Canada. I'm, I'm a country guy, you know, and then coming to, um, coming to this town, Octagon, like, I love it. This is, it's country, it's a city, like, hell, man, I, I could live here, you know, if I didn't love America so much, and, and your gun laws were better. <laughs> but your gun laws are kind of bad, so I don't think I could be here. <laughs> so uh, how quick or quickly do you hope this thing gets done? Are you going to ask your management to, you know, start talking to the UFC ASAP? Do you think it's going to take a little time till? Uh, whenever, man, right? whenever. Um, my, my idea of a vacation is I'm going to go to Vegas and I'm going to train. I'm not going to go out, I'm not going to drink, I'm going to go out and train. So it doesn't matter the contract negotiation, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be me, I'm going to do what I love and then if, if doors open up and I get paid more, whatever might happen, like I'm, I'm excited but I'm just happy to be a fighter. Do you allow yourself to celebrate tonight even? No, I, I don't drink. I'm, I'm going to go to my hotel room and call my mom and my family and then come home and let my knee rest for a couple of days and get back to training. Anything like, do you indulge in food or anything though? Like, what do you do? I'll, eat, I'll eat bad, but I mean, my addiction's training. I, I love it. Like the only thing, literally the only thing on this planet I love to do, girls, sex, whatever, I, I will pick training any day over any other thing on this planet. I would train right now, if literally. <laughs> if, if, if somebody at a gym offered me to go spar a few rounds, I would, I would test my knee out. I'm like, all right, I'll be over in a second. You know, I just love it. Did you get your fix tonight then? I mean, like a, a first round fan? Oh, no, uh, no. I'll, if, I could, if I could train, I'll be back in on Monday training. <laughs> Sparring. I love it. Makes me happy, you know. It keeps the demons away. <laughs> right. Perfect. Thanks, Thanks. man.